Hi there, sign of Libra. I was almost like hesitant to even do your reading because my God, you all have had some really um, tough, look, even though cat's coming in for your reading because <laughs> he's like, this is gonna be emotional. Um, man, the last ones were emotional. So I do have the siren song and um, it is gonna give us more information, detailed information um, with the who's what's the where's and and um if any money or wealth or all that stuff's involved and how it's involved so what we're gonna do is start out with the alchemy wild unknown alchemy and this is gonna be for 2024 it's gonna be for what is relevant for you to know right now for 2024 all right so opening up to libra's spirit team their spirit guides my spirit guides, our angels, higher self. Let's get messages for Libra. And if you find this resonates and you need a private reading, they're affordable. They're on my website. You can find that in the description. They're actually on sale right now. So, <sighs> Libra, what's it about? What's it about? Oh, it's about perfectionism, is it? It's about perfectionism. It's about getting to that stage where it's just about perfect. Don't drive yourself crazy with this stage. It is just a stage. It's describing like a certain period where things are almost looking like great for you. But it, there is a perfectionist um, quality that comes to that. Not saying that's a bad thing. It's not. Um... Oh, okay. I have Virgin's Milk. I have Jupiter. And then I have Resin. So, Jupiter, the planet's influence, would be expansive. It would be lucky. Um, you have the left hand signifying something very spiritual, it seems. The virgin's milk, it talks of the innocence in that, right? Um, the blue rose might mean something to, to you. It's like a net, it's like some kind of innocence nectar stuff. Let me, let me look it up for you so that I'm not sounding silly. Um, virgin's milk. innocence, purity, maybe even a little naive, but it's kind of like wondering what's next. Patience is the remedy. Uh, if you see this card, you could be wondering what's next, not knowing what's coming next. Um, <laughs> this must be something new to you is what's coming across is it might be something new to you. It's like a taste of innocence, a taste of Purity, something really pure, and and the lightning is like, and it's almost perfect. It's almost perfected, or something's almost perfected. Jupiter. Expansive possibility also could mean fortune. Yeah, I was kind of noticing that um, gold finger the beads on the gold finger there <laughs> gold finger wasn't that a was a it was either a james bond like it was a group too there's a, a rock group named gold finger and then there is um i think i think it's a james bond thing jupiter is a welcome sight here emerging with um lots of possibilities Oh, there's something about going round and round to perfection so that something is cemented in stone or resin so that something really adheres. Wanting to teach something so that something really adheres. Wanting to teach or someone's wanting to teach you something that really ad adheres about expansion. So here's perfectionism, possibly a uh, hesitation or a facade. Yeah, well, I mean, it's like when everything is um, 
purified, tried to purify it out. <laughs> um, it says it is no more fretting over your next move, fearing it, no more worrying about how others will perceive you. It says it's time to crack open and become who you are. The, ne the world needs your true colors. And there's something about the good fortune and the good luck that's like set in stone. It's like set in resin. It's not leaving. It is something that is a sure thing. It is um, with you now and forever. This expansive, expansiveness. So this is good. This is really good. Hmm. Let's see. Let's get the tarot out. And let's see. We've got, I'm just making sure you can still see those. I know they're kind of up there, but these cards are big. The Urban Tarot. Messages for Libra. Looks like some good stuff. Some new things are coming in. For Libra, what else for Libra? The Nine of Pentacle in the reverse. This is what um, Pisces got in the heart of the matter was the Nine of Pentacle in the reverse. It could be a delay of some kind of financial gain that is coming to you. It's just something that is per currently delayed. I don't know if someone needs to make the effort or if it, like what it what it's about when it comes to that. Somebody putting in the effort. Sorry. Um, or needing to put in more effort. There is a new opportunity. Possibly there could be an opportunity that allows somebody to be more self-reliant, less codependent, and and um and accepting some kind of new investment. It's like a well, it's representing the kindergarten teacher, the the person that does uh the job that that is rewarding emotionally. Uh, ver by way of virtue also. So, something like a new adventure for you to go on. Hmm. Well, you're building this, aren't you? Okay, the Four of, the four of Pentacles, the way that it's coming out like that, and it says power on it, is, is telling me that there's a careful balance of power here. Um, there's something that's quite frustrating when it comes to emotions <laughs> and, and feeling like us at times we have to be vulnerable, putting, letting our guard down or I don't know, upset when it comes to matters of the heart, wanting to lead everything in love, but I don't know, something kind of is either a shock or shook things up regarding your heart space, regarding how you felt, um, like if you felt you had mastery over it, it's your heart surprising you. No more waiting. No more waiting. This is about, this was about everything has to be perfect. And, and so it's a facade, right? Because nothing's ever really perfect in this form. Everything comes and goes. But the lightning card is about hesitating. Like, no, I think it's about not following your heart. And now that this energy has come in, that's been like, yeah, break down your walls a little bit. Um, be not be naive to a situation that just might turn out really well. Um, the virgin's milk, something you had never experienced, something very innocent um, and, and uh, let go of, of the hesitation or whatever is holding you back because the, the hangman in reverse is like already had um, enough waking up and perspective shift to know that it's good to follow your heart. All right, um, what should Libras expect um, after they, these decisions to follow the heart space? <laughs> high level commitment is what you should expect. High level commitment or contract, soul contract, the hierophant comes in with a very, like, a very, it's a very traditional, like, if this is about a relationship or a love, it's just starting and you're wanting to build from a, you're hesitating only because you're wanting to build from a solid foundation, knowing with experience that 
not necessarily want perfection, but that you know the importance of building from a place of trust and kind of like keeping it like that. There are some things and experiences that are stuck in the resin of our memories, but this is saying this is something new. This is something that you will enjoy, or if this is something you're working on, it's it's to that you can feel safe to let your guard down and not hesitate so much. Um, something else, a, a chapter is completing also with that. So let's see here. You know what? I could put out. Oh, I could put a different light on, and you might, yeah. Let's see a little bit better. Here we go. Yeah. Might be able to see these cards a little bit better. So the Siren Song is what I'm using. This is, like I said, the Lenormand and the Kipper cards. They're a little bit different. Um, we will... They're kind. Of, they're pretty self-explanatory, but I might have to look up one or two. So, um... I'm, I'm first kind of curious about the uh, King of Cups in the reverse. What is this? You know what song came in my head? The Foreigner song. I want to know what love is. I want you to show me. I want to feel what love is. I want you to know. There we go. The ring. Desire. The ring. This is something that you want to be committed to, that you want to put your whole heart into. You definitely want to build. There is a house. You might want to literally this have this turn into, I want to put a ring and get you in a house <laughs> type energy. I don't know if somebody might want to buy you a house, might want to give you a ring. Um, murky thoughts came out, but the way that it's coming out makes me feel like with this emotion, it can make us feel a little murky sometimes being kind of drunk on emotion and so this is like finally seeing clearly what it is that you want and what you want to commit to and not to hesitate just to move forward with that desire is what I think is this this is talking about so no more hesitating make that commitment buy that house give that ring <laughs> something's gonna be good and quite literally change is coming because it's a kipper card so quite literally you have change these are more metaphorically um but this is literally thinking clearly is literally uh this is also the fishes are uh showing up so access to um wealth resources wealthy resources financial resources being able to have access to things when you need them change change you may be um, trying to find another place. Like I said, you may be trying to find a place to live or a different place to live. It might be hard to get time alone with the parlor card. It might be time, hard to get some time to yourself. Uh, but this is like a place that's all yours. It's a sanctuary. And it's like you need a place like that. That is all yours. That is a sanctuary. Um, and with the change card the mountain is try it's trying to come out so what and metaphorically this would be that there is something kind of big an obstacle or something that you're gonna have to go over uh, we all we all have obstacles most of the time they're much smaller than what we had imagined so that has to do with the change you're finally gonna stop feeling like you're climbing a mountain all the time and and something's gonna go from that to the sea level if you if you have my my drift like I feel like scen uh, scenery is going to change maybe even terrain is going to change drastically here oh and then I have the good lady the good lady is like a a person who can be a mentor a mother figure um, a well respected lady somebody that's uh, good with giving advice. And bear is, look, it is luck and it is having something given to you, but it's also, it doesn't come without jealousy and envy. So you got to watch out with that. This person could be involved in some kind of commitment with you or that you might want to offer a commitment to because, like I said, this good lady is somebody that is a really, um, this is a good person. At heart, this is a good person. Um, 
wanting to give something. Either they're wanting to give something to you or you wanting to give something to them. Okay, what else is this about? What else is the Hierophant about? So soul level commitments, bonds, relationships. Oh, goodness. She's a cold hearted snake. Look into her eyes. Uh oh. She's been telling lies. She's a lover to your face. She don't think I do. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, I don't play the fool now. Na 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 na. Okay, so false person number eight, snake number seven. One by one. This is deception. This is somebody trying to lie to you, pull the wool over your eyes. And this is a false person. It's hinting that this false person might be in your actual vicinity. Maybe even trying to kind of invade some personal space of yours. So I would watch for that. I would watch for that. Um, let's just ask it straight up. Who is the false person? I, said, I asked about the Hierophant though, didn't I? It might be a Taurus energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, maybe. Tell me about false person. Who is the false person? Who is not who they say they are? Facade. The facade. Maybe it's you feeling like it. Somebody saying that they might need money if they don't. I don't know. <laughs> I'm unexpected money. Somebody that is expecting money or wants you to help them with m m money because the nine of pentacle in the reverse, this could be a very codependent person expecting you to just give money because of the way that it came out. Just like expecting, expecting it from you. And that is interesting because the nine of pentacle in the reverse, it's almost like this person might be someone who already owes you. You know what I mean? These are feeling also like outside influences from the normal, uh, well, from society, like could be the religious leader, um, could be the office manager, you know what I mean? Like it, these energies could be just somebody who's really helpful in your life that's part of helpful, being helpful in uh, society too. All right, tell us a little bit more. Is somebody naive? Who is naive? Who is naive or what is the virgin's milk about prison? <laughs> prison and good lady and mountain. Somebody feels trapped in their situation. Somebody feels like be, because of some kind of circumstances, whether it's m needing money, a financial outcome, um, somebody feels like they're a good person. Um, all around, they're a good person, but the major challenge they have is coming... Um, out of a place where they don't feel strangled or suffocated prison it can be an actual place that keeps you confined like a prison most of the time this is meaning metaphorically though yeah or like or yeah metaphorically like somebody this could be a very good person a good lady whose major challenge is that um they have to overcome a restriction of some or feeling confined and they have to get out of restriction somehow okay so how can this person feel more free how can this person feel more free good gent that's what i'm saying so good lady good gent is a good pair it's a good match um, and they're both in the upright. This person, the good gent, can help this person escape this situation and maybe build together this house and this soul contract. Maybe it's all part of the change, right? What's expected? Wow, and it's the kipper. High honors. You're expected to be very respected, to be... Um, in a place where lots of people know your name, know that you have high honor, um, and that what you do for others is um, a blessing. So your title, who you are, all of that stuff, that is the outcome. It's that you're going to be highly honored and respected. You can't really ask for a better reading on that, honestly. 
may have something to do with your occupation that's on the bottom of the deck let's pull from the ask the angels and like i said if you need a private reading i do them a little bit longer and they're more tailored of course they're tapped into your energy so check out the description box below they're on sale right now Ooh, if you believe if you believe you can na, 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 na. Dun, 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 dun. If you believe in the near future and not the right time, not the right time, ask for help from others, hmm. reconsider, there's something better, and choose a new direction. Choose a new direction. Ask your angels. Opportunity on the bottom is what I've got. Sunny, light, and love. Thanks. Like, subscribe, and come back. Bye, Libras.